Hi guys, good morning. This video we're going to see uh, simply by path. So if you have done yesterday's question or if you have watched our last video, I'll highly recommend to solve this problem by yourself because it's exactly the same like that. Yeah, before further ado, let's start the problem. It says that we having a string called as path, just our path, which is an absolute path. And what they mean by absolute is it starts with a slash to a file directly in a Unix file system. We have to convert it into a simplified canonical path. And how they define that simplified canonical path is, okay, firstly, it just says that in a Unix file system, a period, which means a, a dot, it refers to the current directory, which means, okay, if it's a dot, then you have to stay at that directory. If it's a double period, which means a dot, dot then it refers to the directory up a level, which means the previous directory. And any multiple consecutive slashes are treated as a single slash. Cool, no worries. For this problem, any other formats of periods such as dot 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 or more dots are treated as a file or the, or the directory names, which means any dot 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 is, is as equal as just a A, right? Or a B, or like the directory name or the file name. The canonical path should have the following format. What is the for format which the canonical path canonical path should have is ultimately which you need to have is that a path should start with a slash. Cool. Any two directories are separated by a slash, which means slash a. Let's say my directory names are a, b, c, something like that. So it should be slash a, slash b, like this. The path should not end with a trailing slash, which means a slash at the end should not come. Cool. Uh, the path only contains the directories on the path from the root directory to the target directory and like no period or double period. As we say that, right, we have this uh, a period which says the directory which is right now and a double period which says the previous directory. So in the ultimate path, we should not have any dots or dot dots and like multiple slashes consecutive and so on. We have to return the simplified canonical path. I hope that you guys answer the problem. So I'll take the most comprehensive example, which means every case is covered in this. But yeah, also I have written all the points which are mentioned here in this particular four lines. It is just saying these four steps. I also explain that. And ultimately we have to return in this format. Cool. Let's see this comprehensive example. Firstly, as it was saying that any two directories are separated by a slash. So basically, if we just have this the path as an input so what all operations or directories i can have out of all this is nothing but i can just remove these slashes slash 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 whatever is remaining is actually the operation i need to perform and as you saw that there were multiple slashes so basically in between them it can be treated as an empty one or you can just say okay you remove all these slashes consecutively it's up to you because it just says that multiple slashes are referring to as one slash only so no worries at all now if we just remove that so ultimately we will get something like this now here you can see i treated my slash slash as okay empty empty string is between them you can assume anything you can assume like nothing like you, you can assume that okay all this can have nothing in them empty string in them anything whatever you want i consider it like this as i showed also how we're considering it as empty now what happens firstly we get a a so i just have this directory name see just name as anything directory of file name anything so i just have this directory name i just have this a next next comes is by me so basically after a inside a i have this another thing which is b cool then comes empty empty string but we saw at empty string nothing was happening because it was saying that okay if we have multiple slashes just replace it to one slash which means if it is empty inside multiple if, if inside the slash it is empty right so no operations to perform cool so i performed no operations at all no operations next comes again an empty string up again no operations at all next comes a c i just go one inside i just added a c inside my uh, my directory b cool next comes a dot my dot it represents okay if you go and see my dot represents the current directory which means i have to do nothing again see i have to do nothing empty was coming i have to do nothing i have to do nothing again a 
thought comes, I have to do nothing because it just says, okay, it's the current directory only. Then now comes a uh, double period. So it just says you have to go to the previous directory. From C, I go to the previous directory, which is B. I just land that B. Okay, C is gone now. I can't go at C because now. Now comes dot dot dot. As it says, okay, it if any multiple thoughts, it is a directory or file itself. So we just have okay, added is it as a directory itself. Then comes dot dot, which means previous directory. I go to the previous directory and it is now gone. Next comes a D. I just go to the directory D from where B because here we have reached B. Now ultimately it is okay. From A, I go to B, I go to D. It is the final looking thing which I have. But I have to give my answers as I was saying. Okay, any two directories are separated by a slash. So my ultimate, ultimate path, it should look like slash A, slash B, slash D. And it is the answer. Which means that, okay, after you have reached this point where you have all these directories of file names, then you just have to put a slash before them, before these directories of file names. And you're good to go. So it is what you understood. Okay, you have to get it and you can j j just add a slash and you can obtain your answer. But, but, but how to reach to this point, Aryan? I mean, like how to reach. So in the last video, I told you, if you need to figure out the uh, data structure to actually implement this particular steps, how would you use it? I just simply said one thing, go to any point of time and see what is happening so if i go at any point of time which means i go at let's say this random time when i have this step cool then what happened was when it says okay a dot dot came which means i have to go to the previous directory which means that from c i have to go back to b you know what happened basically it says that okay what was the last what was the last directory move to that directory which means just remove that directory last directory was c last directory was c now okay it is not removing okay cool no worries. last directory was c now it came a dot dot which so i just removed that c from the picture which means last was removed remember something last in first out out removed last in which came last that's the reason I used a stack. Now, as we also talked in the last video, last video was this, where I actually told you how to arrive at that data structure. We also saw, okay, if it is a stack, it can be implemented as basically internally stack is implemented as a vector. So we can use vector and vector can perform the operations of the vector can also be performed by a, a DQ. So it can be used and the vector and string are same for the alphabetical characters, which means the characters which we have so both are same so we can use any of them dq one operation is nothing but stack can do the operations of like basically a dq it can perform both the operation of a stack as well as a queue so we can use any of them so it's that you can use either stack vector dq or a string anything you want if you use a vector you have to use a vector of characters or a strings vector of characters but if you use a string, you can just simply iterate on the strings and vector of strings, sorry. And if you use a DQ, you can just simply use a DQ because it's as simple as a, a stack. Now you got what you need to do. Just see, okay, if you use a stack, so stack has two operations, push and pop, right? So when to push, what to push, when to pop, what to pop. Just as simple as that. If we have a double period, then I need to just pop as I said, I need to remove, right? So when I have a double dot, I'll just remove, which means I'll just pop my directory or the file name. But, but, but when I have the empty string, because when I will separate my whole string path because of slashes, because see, I, I just need to grab all these elements, right? A, B, and C, and dot, and all that stuff. So I need to separate, split by slashes. So whatever I will get, I'll get an empty string also. So okay, empty string, but not, like nothing was happening because of empty string, right? When the period, what like when a period came, nothing was happening. When a, a double dot came, again, it was not pushing anything. It was 
popping. So apart from all these three conditions, whatever comes, which means a dot dot dot, a dot 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 dot, dot or a, a B C, any character A B C D, anything comes, then I have to just push. So apart from these three conditions, I have to do a push. That's the same thing I just wrote in my code also. That apart from these three conditions, not equal to a dot, not equal to an empty string, not equal to a dot dot. You just push. And it is the same thing which you have to do. Push, pop, and last condition to convert that particular string with what we got in our stack, vector, string, or any uh, data structure into actually the simplified path. If you can see that we just see in C++ we have this string stream function in Java we have that split we can just use that split in Python also we can use the split so in just C++ it's a bit harder I don't know why why it's not having a split it should have a split right but yeah it is what it is um, so basically first we have that string stream which will actually grab me any of those strings strings directories of file names which are like separated by that slashes i'll get those get those directories of file names i'll apply a push operation a pop operation only when it is not empty which means my stack or that particular data structure is not empty and it should have a dot dot so as i can do a pop i, I can do a pop and if it is not a dot not i'm stressing and not a double dot I can just do a push because now I can just push ultimately I will just have my simplified path as a string as a final string final answer and I'll just iterate on all my strings which, which I got finally which are these particular strings which I got where are gone yeah all these strings finally I just iterate on them and I'll just put a forward slash and I'm good to go ultimately I just see okay if it is empty which means like nothing was there so I just need to have a forward slash in the end because it was a condition that forward slash name forward slash name so ultimately forward slash need to be there right so i just put a forward slash or else if it is having something so i would have converted for sure in my actual answer so it's actually pretty good to go time complexity is just o of n because i'm iterating on my whole string of path space complexity is also o of n either if you stack vector dq string anything space will be just o of n because it's just filling it completely because of that particular uh string path now all the codes of C++, Java and Python are just mentioned below. That's pretty much it. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do the like button. And see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.